what's up guys and welcome back to another nch software uh express animating uh, express an animate class and uh today guys uh as you already know uh, um this day we're doing um an express animate class and today i want to focus on the robot guys and on the robot color so if you do notice uh let's say like you're making like a 2d animation of a racing cars of which is something very very rare and you come across a robot how do you know like this robot now uh, a certain color of the robot is on you know so now i'm trying to to show you that on this uh episode so i'll just start uh, with a little bit of a background so you can uh, understand what i'll be doing so i'll just click here and i'll just click 10 as you already know um then uh this one i'll write uh maybe like town because town it is where like we found our robots or a city so the first thing that i would love to do is just to draw a little bit of a building um uh, wow. Mm, let me just think um, the perfect uh, uh, 3D shape for my building I you, you need like to have a little bit of a, a drawing uh, idea I believe when it comes to control Z uh, you need to have a little bit of a drawing idea a lot of people say like you don't have to be able to draw so that you can start doing captions but h h h h guys uh, i really don't know uh, but i think those people are kind of telling the truth but you should be good at analyzing drawings at least So you see, you see what I'm doing right now is kind of confusing because you, 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 you definitely you you gotta be able to draw. You gotta be able to draw, bro. There's no way. And just to be honest, I can't teach you how to draw because I can't draw also. I'm just trying to to fill my shape back on on the right color. Uh, let me write building one. Mm. Okay. Uh, here I can deal with a uh, kind of a roof. Control Z. What just I? What I do there? I, uh, okay, I want to do a kind of a roof on top of this. See. Okay, just zoom in first just click there it didn't put it there then you write a uh, roof then uh, you click that and you select it just make sure it goes on top of this we're doing like a 2d animation but we're creating a 3d on it you see, uh, so you gotta be creative. You gotta be creative for real. So we can change our the color of the roof. Um, let's give it a little bit of a grayish color. Um, uh, what will be the color of the building? Let's give it a, like a little bit of a reddish color. Um, Mm. Mm. 
I'll just use this just to just to fix any mistakes we did. Let's see. Okay. At least we get in there. At least we get in there. Uh, um, let's rename this a shop board. A shop is it a shop board or a shop plate? Mm, add it there. What is this? Uh, let's let's rename it like a, a corner line. Uh, let's add it there. Mm, do you think, guys, we shall have? Do you notice like uh, shops guys if you did notice like they don't have like the normal windows like our houses they have like windows oh my god control Z I didn't want that thing very ordinary kind of a window okay just click that thing just fix it a little bit here towards the bottom the bottom a little bit just like that um show one this one up and you rename it uh, a window Let's change the color <laughs> guys let's not do what we did there when we're duplicating our our window and um, um can we use a gradient a little bit can we use a gradient uh, can we use a gradient then uh here below i uh, just push like this uh, it's just like that I think that's good control C click control C just uh, make like sure like they align mm. We can come from this area uh smoothening mm. do you know what I want to do right now uh, mm. and we can change the color to be a little bit red um Control Z, Control Delete, click. Uh, mm. Mm, I'm just trying to make a little bit of a draft aid. A graffiti. I don't know how to pronounce the name. But uh, do you know this straight painting thing? That's what I'm trying to do here. Um, I can say straight paint. Uh, straight uh, paint. Uh, just to make sure all the other part of the straight paint goes under straight paint. just select this one now we're selecting everything 
then we're gonna just write four you see then we select this one just make sure like we're doing the same thing over and over again uh, shape number five and just write 40 just go down shape number four 40 go down three Forty. You go down two. Forty. You go down. Then we go to the street paint original himself. Forty. Like uh okay I think that's uh kind of cool. You don't have to see it, but it's there. I feel like I need to do uh, a shopping door. So first, I gotta do like this. Mm, just click this. I gotta just expand it a little bit, just like that. Uh, I don't know what you guys call it. Please don't laugh me. I got a right feel. Um, change the color of the garage feel to super gray. Uh, do you know like those garage door like where like the shop like when you open the shop like they they go to like the rest of the door that's what I was trying to do there so just uh, drag it like a little bit downwards just make sure it's um, okay I'm just trying to think what color uh, will this be um, let me name it uh, an entrance mm, this one should be on top of this one I think that's how um, click this one click um, let's give you a little bit of a white bluish color Now we can make uh, a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of a, a shop, another shop next to it. Let's just leave that for now. Uh, what I'm thinking, I'm thinking of making uh, what I will call Control Z. Now I'm thinking of doing what I will call. Um, let me just write Shop Two for now, so that I don't forget about it. Uh, now I'm just thinking of um, doing of what I will call
of what I would call a pavement. I just wanted to make sure like I can do like each shape before I start talking. You know. The one gonna be the same. This one gonna feel like it's going wait for that finger first. Then you zoom back and you zoom in again. Take here you put it straight to the corner. Move this back, zoom in take this thing and you move it back to the corner take this and you zoom in take this uh, move it back to a, to a corner take this and zoom this mm, I'm gonna move it a little bit forward like that take this uh, just like that what color is the pavement? change the color what color is the pavement mm. now we start making a roll now I start making a road uh, next to the shop but <laughs> this very small uh, space between before I shop and uh, let me make a very big road uh, let me make a very big road You know what I'm thinking to do. Uh, I'm, th I'm not sure like what color is will be what I will doing right now in your country, but in my country is white. What I will be doing right now, I'm thinking of uh, just doing like a little bit of um, just, just rename this a road first. Uh, do you think we should add a road and a pavement on the same uh, layer? Click delete. Sometimes I just forget that I'm using this. I really love to use like a drawing tool. Just to be honest with you. Uh, select that. Gonna play, I can see. Oh my god, okay. I think this I like it how it is. Mm, change uh, name. Uh, uh, what is the they call it? Part, part is an area, yeah. Uh, change the color, go to white. You see, and click Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Control Z, Control undo, Control undo, Control undo, Control undo. There's something I did that I'm not really sure about. Okay, I'm in the right area now. So we just choose the color white there. Just make sure that like, like it, uh, it, it is selected, Control C, Control V. Just hold it and you put it like that. Control C, Control V. Hold it like that. Control C, Control V. Hold it like that. Uh, Control C, Control V. Uh, hold it like that. Control C, Control V. And uh, just spin it like that take it like that and just put it here then you just drag it like this and yeah 
Uh, should we change the color for that to be a little bit yellow? We have a lot of crossing areas. Let's just put them in a one uh, piece of a layer. Uh, should we make it a little bit of a yellow for this one? Um, but it is white in my country. Uh, let me call it a passing area side panel. Uh, side. Uh, just name it like the way you easily remember it. That's one thing that I'll tell you. So for me, I'll know it from the get go. Okay. Oh, a side panel of the passing area. That's one thing for sure. Uh, control C, Control V, and and that's it. Then um, from now we just uh, use something like this. Let's see what I'm doing. Something like this. Something like this. Uh, I'm done with it. I think uh, it's beautiful as it is. And I uh, just changed the feel. Someone is like, what is that, bro? Just um, let me call it a grass. That's a grass, my bro. And you see, it's perfect. Okay, now we have this area. Mm. Let's give it another grass. Let me just say grass one. Uh, grass first. Uh, let me just do it like this. Um, Them, uh, it doesn't matter. I don't know, like the original of a, of a name for it. Uh, uh, mm, just to keep it a little bit simple right now, I'll just use uh, uh, just about two uh, circles. Uh, how do you write leaves? Do you have an A there? Um, let's call it like a green one and let's call it like control C control oh I'm still here I'm already like rushing for control C control V already because control C control V um just take this one and put it uh, on the tree uh, uh. Mm -hmm. So now we start on doing a little bit of an elevation. So guys, do you see how hard 
let me write a uh, let me write a soul now. I'll try to give it a little bit of a different element. Don't you want guys us to go to a little bit of a break? Don't you want to go to a little bit of a break? Just select it and you already know how we do it. Start straight to Just, uh, I'm just trying to get it accurate. I'm just trying to get it a little bit accurate, but it seems like it will take all my time, and I can't afford to do like an hour long uh, tutorial. I can't guys at least now we have a little bit of an idea so now it's time like we draw um, we draw our we start to draw our I want like the entrance and the pavement to be one thing though. Our I think it's time now we, we make our robot. Uh, I want my robot to be here, so I will just use. Um, so you get a plan before you're doing something. So the robot is targeting the mo the cars, which will be coming on our way. So we also needed like something like a pavement from this side. So let me uh, let me change the the name meanwhile for this. Change the name into uh, robot traffic light that's what I mean by robot guys um I think like I need something like uh, um, let me do that one let me start afresh Um, passing part two, passing part two. Change the color. Um, and just click control. It's a first select. It click control C, control V. Uh, just hold it just like that. So now we can come to our traffic light. Mm, let's first change the color. So what color should it be? Uh, a little bit of a gray. Traffic colors. Mm. Okay. Um
Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I feel like we need to draw another shape on top of this. Oh, 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 oh. Control Z. Okay. Guys, is it getting complicated? Is it getting complicated? I guess, I guess it's not getting complicated because I'm just trying my level best, like just to keep it as basic as much as I can. Um, okay, like, um, I missed it. I missed it. Uh, let me try again. Oh, perfect. We just try to bring it close, although like we made a few mistakes. Although we made a few mistakes. Although we make a few mistakes. So for this one, um, I want to go by gradient and I want it to be just a little bit like that, you know, I don't know, you let me know if like I'm, I'm getting everything wrong, but for me I feel like that's good, It's it kind of give me that 3D shape. Um, so I gotta mess it up. I did mess it up a little bit here. So let me try to fix that fast and quick. Mm. A traffic light, uh, traffic, a traffic light, uh, a pole. So let's change the the pole to be uh, yellow. I don't know how, how what color you guys from your countries, uh, but yeah, they believe yellow is the most color you can spot from from a distance. So they make it uh, yellow, just like that. Then here we will have our circles. Uh, control C, Control V. Um, uh, let me, it's usually three colors, but now I'll have like red, uh, light. Let me just write LG, IGL, and uh, yellow. What color is green? I think it's green. Green means like you can walk. Uh, I got a green. A green. Uh, like and let's go. Let's go. What's this? What is that? Is this our assistant? Uh, let's call it like an uh, an assistant three uh, D shape. Um, of a traffic light. Uh, um, mm, so we can just drag it and put it on our traffic light. Let's close this one. Drag it, put it on our traffic light. 
plug it put our traffic light drag it and put it on our traffic light then uh, we have a green color there change fill okay So uh, the one is green, then we go to the next one is red. So now we are about to do exactly why you click the here for. Mm. Yo, we did all of these guys. Yeah. So now we want to animate our red color so that uh we can quickly say, okay, let's say like uh someone was walking or uh, or a car just came and you were telling the car like, um you you came straight to the red um light. I think uh this is what we did on our first episode we'll be doing the same thing though uh we just come straight uh to to the red light then you just uh click uh um your your fill color this is our it's solid color you just try to zoom it out there zoom it in you just we want around this uh area we want it uh the red color we j we won't be doing uh much but we'll just making like a red uh color to flick then you just come straight uh, here yeah uh, you just click it there then you click once one to the box you add another fill then you make it uh f start making it flick so now it's here you gotta make it a uh, red super red strong click OK then you can click here then you can just click both of your both of, both of those colors just click Ctrl C Ctrl V uh, you'll not you'll notice like on the big uh, you'll notice like I'm the big fan of uh, copy of copying things uh, for me personally, I believe it does save my time. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it does save my time so that I don't do think the same thing over and over again. Just select everything. Control C, Control V. Uh, select everything. So let's see how our robot will look like. So uh, another thing, guys, that I want to do, I like to do. I don't know about you, but I don't want like uh to be selecting anything when I'm playing uh, on the background view. When I want to check like what I did is correct, I don't want to be. I don't want to be doing anything like that. Okay, let's just play it, but it's kind of far. Good. Let's see. That is it, guys. That is it, guys. So, you, like, you can tell, like, now, like, uh, the light is there. The light is there. Not like anyone like other cartoons say like uh the light was red, but it is like even like like the person who's watching like can't even tell like the color is actually red. So now like you can see like that's the normal color it is. Now it is red. You see? You can tell now it's red. So um guys, this is how you do it. Uh we took so long just to do this 
a lot of people will say but uh, at the same time guys I hope like you you did manage to learn how to do a couple of things maybe like to draw a, a robot how to make uh, your robot to look like a 3d shape a kind of a thing uh, also like your pole your pavement like your building uh, the like the, the soil the tree like your leaves there um, all of these guys I hope like you did manage uh, to learn how to actually do it um thank you so much guys for watching this one definitely i'll see you on the next video feel blessed please don't forget to subscribe